Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to the second update for my Road to Glory for FIFA 18, also known as my Ultimate Team Journey. If you do enjoy this and find it useful, please do hit the thumbs up button down below. So firstly, I would like to, I guess, apologise for not uploading a few more of these. I said I'd do them every single week. We are going to get back to doing that. They are going to be on Fridays going forward, starting with this upcoming Friday. But I thought today, because I will not be able to stream today, maybe not tomorrow either, uh, because I'm super, super busy, there's a lot going on, that I would give you my squad battle rewards for this week, as well as update you on everything that's been going on over the last week or two, in case you haven't been able to tune into every single stream. So, Friday will be back to the normal format, where I show you a little clip of everything that's happened in each stream throughout the week, but today it's just going to be a recap to let people know what's been going on, what are my upcoming plans for the series, etc, etc. So, first things first, we have got our squad battles rewards. Again, um... I did finish in Elite 1, uh, I've finished in Elite 1 both weeks since the game has actually been fully released, and so that's not bad. Uh, for this we do get, oh, we are out of power. Brilliant, I'm, I'm very, very organised when it comes to YouTube videos. So, we get, if this would like to work, I believe 39,800 coins, yes, plus 2 mega packs. So, we'll see what we get in this. Last week I believe we got a, just a discard inform. I may be incorrect there, I can't really remember. But, let's get into this and see what is involved. And then again, I'll give you a bit of an update as to what is going on. So first pack, we do get an 83 plus. Not a bad start. Probably is going to be an 83. Um, hey, and a Herrera. That's an 84 rated from the Premier League. That's a very, very solid card. I don't know how much he's going for. I don't have a Premier League team myself. And I get asked about it every single day. But I feel they're just way... Too overpriced, that's why I don't have a Prem team. But to get Ander Herrera is solid. We've got Shinji Kagawa, Raul Albiol, Karsdorp, some decent cards in there. What is Herrera's value though? What does he actually go for? So about 25,000 coins for Ander Herrera. That's very, very good. I'm probably just going to sell him because his price is really only going to come down from this. So, let's very quickly see if we've got any decent consumables, few squad fitnesses, not bad. No duplicates in that one. Very, very good start to squad battles, and people keep asking me whether it's worth it. If you get packs like that, then 100% on top of the 40k coins that we got already, that's going to be over like 60k, 65,000 coins. If I sold even more from my uh, pack right there, I could get over 75k. And then we'll see what this one's got inside of it as well. This one, not going to be an 83+. plus. But it is going to be an English striker. It's going to be Callum Wilson. It's not. It's going to be Jermaine Defoe. Would have been a little bit more valuable if it was Wilson purely because of his pace. Uh, Defoe doesn't really go for anything. But again, to have Premier League players in your club is always going to be useful. And what more could I ask for? Getting a Leicester player in there. Wilfred Ndidi. Hopefully he can play well tonight against West Brom. Uh, Vallejo, I don't think he's got any value does he no just to make sure so again a couple more players to be used in spcs and stuff like that a few decent consumables more squad fitnesses is great uh we do actually get a one player pack which in reality is actually a two player pack have never understood that how you can actually <laughs> mislabel a pack like one player pack sure let's uh let's open this oh wait it's it's, it's a two player pack so it includes two players, one of them rare. Now, I believe that every single one of these that I've ever opened has had a standard gold and a rare silver. Or a rare bronze. That is what I'm expecting right here. Will I be shocked? I'm going to assume no. Hey, okay. Fair enough. I was wrong. <laughs> that's going to be an 83. Uh, that's going to be Fabinho, right? Yes. Uh, again... I already have him in the club untradeable, I believe, so I can sell him. Not sure if he's got any value, but I can't complain of that one at all. Now, that just said that I got one gold and one rare. I don't understand this pack at all, but sure. Uh, <laughs> there's not much logic to it, is there? So, we could even get like a thousand uh, and a bit coins for Fabinho, and that would be decent. So, for our rewards this week... If I sold everything, I'd make over 75,000 coins purely from squad battles. So this puts me up to about 95k. So, let me update you on what has been going on. If you've missed the last however many streams, then last week we did Foot Champions. That was the first weekend, and I finished Gold 1. I went 26 and 14. 
and uh, in my rewards I got decent stuff right it was okay but the best stuff that I've got so far this year has come from drafts there was a draft that I did maybe about a week ago at this point and I got Marcelo Muller and Alejandro Gomez from winning one draft okay and so it got me a hundred thousand coins so I've been doing a lot of drafts I've also been doing squad battles I've been doing foot champions when it's on I've not played too much online seasons hence why I'm still in division seven I believe I've only lost one game in total yeah 15 and one in division so far is still decent, so I'll take that. Our record is in the top left, as you can see. Again, squad battles, I'm finishing Elite 1 consistently, which is nice. Hopefully I can do that again this upcoming week. There will be a video going out tomorrow detailing everything you need to know about squad battles. Again, I probably won't be streaming because there's a lot going on at uni, then there's a the Champions League, so I'll probably be uploading my squad battles video that people have been asking for, as well as maybe a few other uh, instructional ones as well. But yeah, so to update you, Foot Champions, this week... I have finished Gold 1 again. I've got three games left to go. I will be playing those just to see if it can bump me up a little bit in the monthly rewards. Maybe to go from Elite 3 to Elite 2. We'll have to wait and see. But do I really feel that I'm getting better at the game? Nah, no, one <laughs> no one would probably argue with me if I say, not really. We haven't really improved since last week. I could get more wins in the weekend league, which is good. But... I still don't feel like I'm that good at the game. But as it stands, we've got two teams, okay? So if you remember from the previous update, we were sticking with a Bundesliga team. And we've upgraded this as we've gone on. So Boateng obviously is our highest rated player, I believe, in the whole of my club. Excuse me, and that is purely because we got him first owner from our untradeable pack, right? Two player pack. The rest of the team is looking very good at this point. Socrates was an investment that we made recently. Vidal as well cost us a lot of coins. Probably lost some value on him, but I don't really care. We also got Werner in a pack after going out in the second round of the draft. And he's like fifteen to 20,000 coins, so that saved me a lot. And that's why I'm using him now. So this is our team. It's pretty solid. Now, the only thing is... For the future, because of how important big players are on this game in terms of like higher rated, like better stats, they mean a lot this year. You can tell the difference between Vidal and Tolisso, right? Because he just does have more and better stats. Whereas in previous FIFAs, they may feel identical. So I am slightly feeling like it's a little bit of a waste to have two teams, whereas I could have one big team. Now I do like the variation of switching between two. It's really really nice to be able to do that and not get really bored and feel repetitive when you're using the same team over and over. But it may be beneficial in the weekend league for me to use one bigger and better team and then when I'm doing squad battles I can switch to something like this. Um, but the main focus is on like a Calcio A team or something like that. So my other team as it stands is Calcio A. This is the most expensive team that I have. Uh, this is very, very good, I would say. I like it a hell of a lot. There would be some upgrades that I would make if I had the coins, one of which would be Higuain in here for Immobile, who is honestly one of my favourite players on this game. Him, Goretzka and Mertens are probably my favourite three. He's so good and underrated by people, and he's less than a thousand coins. The guy's unreal. Honestly, if you if you want a budget team that's either Calcio A or Italian, try him out and stick a Hawk Chem style on him, and trust me, he'll be really, really good for you. So, the upgrades would obviously be something like uh, Dybala at Cam, and then Higuain there, uh, Raja Nainggolan at CDM, Chiellini, etc. So I may start to put those in my team. Now, because of the squad battle rewards that I just got, I believe I can now afford Higuain. It's just whether I feel like I'm actually going to pay the amount that he costs. Because with the Icon SBCs that came out, again, a little bit more of an update in case you haven't seen these. Uh, we got Harry Kane Player of the Month, but three Prime Icon SBCs have come out and they've bumped up prices of high rated players. I don't have any intention of doing any of these three right now. Maybe in the future, but as it stands, they cost a little bit too much for me for untradeable cards. But for example, someone like Higuain was 80 to 90,000 coins, but as soon as these SBCs came out, he bumped up to over 100k. His price at this point, whoops, his price right now, he's come down a tiny bit, but he's still 95k, so he's right at my limit of coins, unless I sell that Herrera that I got earlier. So, 
I'm debating whether to make the upgrade. I, I feel like it would be worth it because, as I say, better players this year do feel much better. So it probably would be beneficial for me to do it. But we'll have to see that over the next few days. So what are the plans in the near future? Again, maybe to create some kind of hybrid. So this would be the ideal one, but I don't have anywhere near enough coins for this one. Nor this costs about one mil, right? Maybe nine hundred to a million, uh, nine hundred k to a million coins. I have one hundred k. So we're gonna tone it down a little bit, and this may be the kind of team that we go for, right? Now, I can then replace Immobile with Higuain, and this team works. And then all I would need to do is get the coins for Alaba. I could potentially sell something from my club, maybe like a Socrates or something like that, uh, and buy back a Brooks, and just use that for squad battles. So I'm not having like 20, 30,000 coins sat there in a player that I'm not really utilizing online. Now, the only thing is with that, I do want to keep some of the players that I have in my club, because I feel that they may go up in value. So someone like one to watch Yarmolenko, whilst he's a great player, he's also an investment. I got him for 125,000 coins. His cheapest buy it now when I checked it yesterday was between 140, 150K. People are bidding more than that right now. So I'm gonna hold on to people like that. Brozovic, again, Gulam, Philip, Aaron Geese. I bought these guys for cheap, right? Aaron Geese was what, 13,000 coins? At any point in the year, I can get back the majority of the value for him. But his price may go up and up. Like right now, he's what, fifteen to 20,000 coins? He could easily go up from that. So I don't want to sell everything that I have because I feel that they are good cards. They're great subs to have to be able to bring on as well. So I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. So what would you guys think would be the best course of action? Do you think it would be to go with a team like this? Now I know that, for example, in this team, um, Manolas is not on full chemistry. I could end up going with someone like Miranda and putting my Handanovic in goal. Or we test something else out. But we could get Higuain here. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on A, this team? Would you make any changes to this? Maybe Marquisio isn't quite right for that cam position. Maybe I could do with somebody else there. If so, who do you think would fit? And do you have any other ideas? Obviously, our end goal of this series is still to get Ronaldinho and get him in a full icon team. Ideally, it would be something as beautiful as this. <laughs> the odds of that happening are probably incredibly low, considering every single one of these is probably millions and millions of coins. But that's fine. We are building up our coins slowly, and the beauty with icons are that I can slot them into any team. So, for example, let's go back to this hybrid that we've got right here. If I ended up getting Ronaldinho right now, bang, put him in there instead of Hamsik. Everyone still gets full chemistry. So, that's one reason why I went with the icon route, and it doesn't limit what I want to build throughout the year. So... Hopefully this is a decent update to let you know how we're going, how we're moving along. I can quickly show you what else I have in my club, just in case there are some things that maybe you aren't seeing in these teams. Let me show you first my untradables. I don't have loads, but I do have people like Chris Smalling, not too bad. Begovic, solid keeper. Uh, Fabinho, again, peace check is untradable. I did manage to get myself an Edison in a two-player pack, which is quite nice to have another one to watch untradable. Uh, an Inform, Draxler, Insigne, and obviously Boateng. And then the rest of the stuff I've got in my club, there's quite a few loans that I could get rid of. Uh, then we've got a few Informs, so most of these are bought. I did pack Lacadia, though. And then the rest of my club, you've seen most of this in both of my teams. There's not many players in here that I'm not using. Um, other than, for example, someone like Mustafi, I feel his value will go up at some point through the year. So right now I'm holding on to him. And there's a, there's a lot of players like that. So let me get your thoughts on how we're doing. Do you think that we've made good progress? Like this is less than a month into FIFA. I've not put any FIFA points in and we've got teams that are worth this amount. Like my club in total, including the coins that I've got right now, may be worth like a mil. I don't know if that's pushing it a little bit, but... The teams I've got are not cheap, so I feel we're doing very, very well at this point in FIFA, especially without putting money into the game. 
I'd be happy with this at this stage, even if I had put FIFA points in. So, again, if you've got any feedback, let me know in the comments section. Hopefully you enjoyed the rewards and this little bit of a, an update and recap. Again, the standard recaps where I show you little clips of each of the streams are going to return on Friday. I apologise that they've not been coming out for a little while, but I'm back on track. Got a... Uh, going to start downloading the streams pretty much as soon as they're done so I can start editing it in advance so that I know that they're going to be done on time. Because Tuesdays and Fridays are my main uni days, so I want to potentially have some stuff going up during the day and then maybe a later stream. Or for example this week, because the Champions League on, there probably won't be a stream tomorrow because it would have to be super short, so I may just upload instead. So again, if you've got any questions or queries, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, but hopefully you did enjoy this. I'm going to continue and play my squad battles games, probably finish off my foot champions games and uh, tomorrow there'll be a video coming out detailing squad battles because so many people ask about them. And maybe the next time you see me on Wednesday on stream I'm going to have that Higuain. Depends if I bite the bullet and buy him or not. But you'll have to wait and see. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe if you want to see daily FIFA 18 live streams. Or if I'm busy then you get a video. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Goodbye.